Hi there, welcome to Two Birds. I'm Fiona and this is Ralph. And today's class is the third in a four part series where each class builds toward a peak pose. And today's peak pose is called Kapinjalasana or Partridge Pose. And it's an arm balance with a little back bend in it. And uh, in order to prepare and progress toward Partridge Pose in class today, We'll warm the wrists and the shoulders, open the front body and strengthen the back body. And uh, I offer lots of modifications, variations along the way so it's accessible. And if you're doing the full flow with me without variations or modifications, it's uh, hot and sweaty. <laughs> or maybe that's just our Aussie summer weather at the moment. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for joining. Ralph is going to pop in, no doubt throughout class. I've had lots of requests uh, for him making a comeback. <laughs> so um, he'll be here, flowing with us, showing us how it's all done. Thanks for joining. Namaste. <laughs> and begin your practice in your comfortable seat at the back of your mat. I'm going to sit in Vajrasana, kneeling, and if that's easeful for you, go ahead, meet me there. If not, you could take your legs out straight in front of you or cross your legs and prop yourself on the edge of a blanket. Placing your hands into your lap, gently closing your eyes. Inviting yourself to sit quietly still for the next minute or so. Let your awareness fall to your breath and start by giving yourself the benefit of some extended exhales to calm and settle your body and welcome yourself to your practice. Feeling your shoulders drop away from your ears as you breathe out. Sense your expression softening. Letting go of any pockets of restraint or gripping in your body. And very gradually now start to level out your breath. So you create an even rhythmic cadence. Equal part inhale equal part exhale and take two more cycles of breath Bringing your hands to prayer at your heart, chin toward your chest and gently blinking your eyes open. Go ahead, interlace your fingers. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, turn your palms inside out, press your hands forward. Inhale, send the arms overhead, lengthening from your waist to the heel of your hands. Exhale, hands behind your back and interlace your fingers. Breathe in deeply. On your exhale, stay upright and gently move your fists away from your back, retracting your shoulder blades, containing your front ribs in. On your inhale, return. Take the hands and point them down toward the floor. On your exhale, Turn your hands inside out, stretch your palms down. And one more round and we'll add on. Bring your interlaced fingers to the center of your chest, breathing in. Exhale, press your palms forward. Breathing in, arms overhead. Exhale, hands behind your back, lace your fingers. 
breathing in, <laughs> exhale, move your fists away from your back, just in your comfortable range of motion, and then inhale, release your fists down, keep your hands interlaced, now take your fists to the right side of your waist, try and draw your elbows toward one another, and gently drop your right ear toward your right shoulder, pause for a few breaths, and if it feels helpful, you can gently roll your chin around the front of your chest, lengthening into the sides, the back of your neck. Breathing in, head comes upright, release your hands behind your back. On an exhale, fists to your left side waist, and just try lodging them there at the top of your hip. Elbows close in. Softly hinge your left ear over to your left shoulder and then just exploring some gentle pendulum movement through the neck if it feels good. And one more deep breath in. Exhale and release. Bring your palms onto the mat now, coming into tabletop. Spread out your fingers and just see that your index fingers are parallel on your mat and then shuffle your knees in a little closer to the back of your hands and we'll bring some warmth into the wrists. Take a deep inhale, right arm reaches up toward the ceiling, open up, breathe up. As you exhale, bring the right hand down. Inhale, left arm reaches up. And exhale, draw the hand back down. Now we're going to dial the hands out a little, inhale, right arm reaches up, exhale, turn your fingers out or back as you bring the hand down, inhale, left arm reaches up, lengthen, exhale, flip the wrist, inhale, right arm reaches up, exhale, hand comes down, fingertips forward, left side now, extending up. Exhale and place your left hand down. Keep it going, alternating your hand placement. Really expanding through your palms, warming the full circumference of your wrists. Take one more each side. And just bringing your palms to face forward and go ahead when you're ready sit back on your buttocks upright your spine interlace your fingers and just start to roll the wrists out in a figure eight try keeping the heel of your palms together there And then release, reach your arms forward, shoulder height, palms face up, curl your thumbs in, and then the fingers in, make a fist, turn your palms down. Keep your arms engaged, shoulder blades down the back, just start to circle the fists away from one another. Extending through the tops of your wrists. And then circle back, opposite direction. And coming back to center, open your palms, spread your fingers and then close to a fist and continue on, pick up the pace, star bursting the hands. Our peak pose today is a hand balancing pose and it's important to feel prepared and warm in the hands, wrists and forearms. Last few bursts here. and release just give the hands a little shake out transitioning now into anahatanasana heart opening pose rocking your hips up to balance over your knees and then walk your hands forward extending through the length of your arms finding the shape of downward dog in your upper body resting your forehead toward the mat or on the mat pause for a few breaths And keeping your body alert and integrated by extending energy up through your arms, 
broadening your upper back, hollowing your belly and pressing down through the tops of your feet. Breathing in, lift your gaze and exhale, take yourself gently down to the floor and we'll set up for a locust variation. With your forehead facing down to the floor, bring your hands into fists, placing them by your low ribs, elbows bent. Now lift the front of your shoulder heads up, draw your low belly in and extend back through the legs. Keep your gaze down, tops of the feet down, inhale here, raise your fists. On your exhale, extend your arms back alongside your body. Inhale, re-bend the elbows. Exhale, fists to the floor. Again, inhale, hover your fists. Exhale, extend your arms back. Inhale, re-bend. Exhale, fists to the floor. Just one more round here. And we'll hold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, extend the arms, stay here, breathe in, lift the chest and the legs, stay for another cycle of breath, and then re-bend the elbows, lower yourself down and release. Spread the hands out now, taking them by your low ribs, press back up onto all fours, separate your knees to the width of your mat, and sit back, buttocks to the heels. Breathe a few deep breaths in and out, welcoming the heat in your body and integrating that through your body with your breath. Making your way into a mild thoracic twist now, lifting up just a little ways, thread your right arm under your left, coming to rest down on your right shoulder, right side cheek. Option to lean the left side of your torso a little back in space for more sensation. Take another cycle of breath in and out. And exhale, release. Reset through centre. And take a twist now to your right, threading your left arm under your right. Relaxing the corners of your eyes and your jaw. Letting the weight of your torso lean into your upper, outer arm. One more deep breath in. And exhale, release. Come to tabletop, standing on your hands now, spreading your fingers to their end range. Tucking the toes, making your way into downward facing dog. And being attentive to your shape, to your hands, sealing and pressing all the base knuckles down into the floor. Sensing your forearms inward rotation, your armpits lifting upper back widening and trace your awareness down the front of your thighs see that your thighs are active inner upper thighs rolling in and feel the low back broadening back seams of your legs extend to your heels taking two more smooth cycles of breath Breathing in, gazing forward, light bend in your knees, make your way to the top of your mat. Setting your feet up hips width apart and when you arrive, take a halfway lift, slide the hands to the shins. Exhale, forward fold, release, hang out here for a few breaths. You can catch opposite elbows, soften your knees, let your head hang heavy. As we progress toward our peak pose today, we're going to continue to warm all the body parts. We'll recruit in partridge pose 
and just start to imprint that neural roadmap into our heads so we feel prepared and ready when we're arm balancing and back bending at the same time. From here, release your hands to the floor, hang out in ragdoll, arms are floppy. And then on a long inhale, roll yourself up to stand. Sweep your arms out and then overhead. Exhale, taking your prayer hands to your heart. We're going to start with a variation on our half salutes and bring some awareness into our buttocks, hamstrings, our thighs. Two rounds here. First round, nice and slow. Balance on your right foot here. Inhale, raise the arms. Lift your left knee in toward your chest. Knit your front ribs in so your anterior core is engaged. On your exhale, send the left knee back in space. Sweep your arms back toward your left foot so you're in a hands-free dancer's pose shape. Glutes and hammies engaged. On your inhale, bring your left knee back in toward your chest. Reach the arms up. On your exhale, set the left foot down, motion the hips back, coming into chair pose. Breathe in here. Exhale into your forward bend. Breathe in, hands to shins, flat back, straight legs. Breathing out, refold. Rise slow to stand, arm circle overhead. Breathing out, hands to heart. Shifting your weight into your left foot now. Inhale, reach the arms up, right knee lifts, find your balance. On your exhale, sweep the arms back, take your right knee back. Right foot's flexed or pointed. Inhale, rise back up to stand if you can. Hover and bring the right knee back toward your chest. Exhale, chair pose. Sit back and down. Utkatasan. Inhale here. Exhale, forward fold. Utanasan. Rise up halfway. Ada Utanasan. Exhale and refold. Rise to stand, two strong straight legs. Exhale, hands to prayer. We'll go one more round, each side now, moving with your breath. Right foot's your foundation, arms overhead, net, left knee lifts. Exhale, arms back, left knee back, reach toward your foot. Inhale, coming back upright, left knee in toward your chest. Keep the arms overhead, left foot down, sit your hips down, chair pose. Breathing in. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, open halfway. Exhale and fold. Come to stand on your in-breath. Exhale, hands to heart, pause. Balancing on your left, arms up, right knee lifts. Exhale, arms back, right knee back, heel kicks up and back. Come back to centre, if you can, balance here. And then two feet down, drop the hips down, chair pose. Deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Rise to stand. And breathing out, hands to prayer. And just pause and just that simple active flow mimics the arm, the hip extension that we create in our peak pose, simultaneously working and lengthening the front and back of our hips. We'll keep it flowing now. A few rounds through your Namaskar C with some variations. On your next breath in, link your thumbs, space your fingers, take a big arch up and back. 
Exhale, hands behind the back, interlace the fingers and take a forward fold. Soft bend in your knees as you release. Take an extra cycle of breath. On your in-breath, release your hands to your shins. Take a halfway lift. Exhale, fingertips down. Step your right foot back, low lunge. Right knee softly down. Arms sweep up on your inhale. And we're going to stay here for a few breaths. Deliberately pressing down through your left heel. And then ease back out of your front hip. So you bring the crown of your head, your pelvis and your knee all in one line. And as you do that, you should be able to feel your right thigh, right buttock switch on, actively engaging and lengthening through the front of your hip. Great for end range strength and mobility. Take one more breath. Exhale, hands to the floor, stepping back, plank pose. Long and strong through your body, breathe in. Exhale to the floor. Cobra pose. As you breathe in, just a mild arch through your spine. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Five cycles of breath. So just moving through this first round nice and slow so you're able to place yourself. Feel the work of your legs in your lunges. And this kind of low lunge is better prep for backbending because we want the front and back of our thighs engaged to support us. Next breath in, raise your right leg slow, up and back, down dog splits. Exhale, step the right foot forward to your hands, low lunge, lift knee softly down. Arms rise on your inhale. And then just pause for a few breaths, tidy up your shape. I know it's tempting, particularly if you're flexible, to drop into a deep stretch here, but that stretch you feel in that position is less effective in our preparation. So just back off a little, get your front and back thigh working actively here. Reach up, take another deep breath in. Exhale and release, frame out your right foot, stepping up top of your mat. Inhale Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale and fold. Inhale, rise up, reach up. Breathing out, hands to prayer at your heart. Next round, moving one movement, one breath with that engaged awareness through the legs. On your inhale, link your thumbs, space your fingers, arching up and back. Exhale, hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, forward fold. On your inhale, release your hands to your shins, halfway lift. Exhale, step your left foot back, left knee to the floor, low lunge. Right angles with the legs, arms rise. Exhale, hands to the floor, step back through your vinyasa. High to low push up, moving slow, inhale, cobra or upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full cycle of breath, make contact with your hands. Next breath in, left leg rises, exhale, step the left foot up, right knee to the floor, low lunge. Arms reach up, exhale, hands to the floor, stepping up, top of your mat. Inhale, take your halfway lift, and exhale, fold in. Rise slow to stand, hands to prayer, pause. Breathing in, float the arms overhead. Exhale and forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, this time step back to plank pose, top of your push up. Breathing in, rock forward onto the tippy toes. Exhale all the way to the floor. 
And then when you arrive, take your right forearm in front of you, parallel with the top edge of your mat. So stand into your forearm, lifting your chest, firming the belly. And then go ahead, bend your left knee and see if you can reach back and connect the left hand with your left foot. And if that's not possible, just reach back in that direction with that intention. If you have your foot, flex your left toes and start to press your foot into your hand. So you feel the front of your thigh switch on now and you're actively lengthening the front of your thigh while it's engaged. You'll feel a mild back bend, another opportunity to experience the shape of our peg pose without the balance. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and release. Transition to the opposite side. Ground your left forearm now. When you're ready, bend and point your right toes up, reaching back, either holding your foot or moving in that direction. Now take a few breaths to press your foot into your hand, moving your heel away from your buttocks. And if you're in that version where there's a gap between your hand and your foot, just try lifting the front of your thigh up away from the mat. We'll take one more smooth breath in. Exhale and release. Hands to your mat, pressing back onto all fours. And exhale, buttocks to your heels for child's pose. Just release and soften your low back with your outgoing breath. And take the next few breaths to return to Downward Facing Dog. So that active eccentric work we're practicing here in the hips is such a good strategy to employ in any dynamic practice because you're building end range strength. So your muscles are strong and flexible and that'll also help to improve your range of motion and more strength at the end of your range of motion. So helpful for all our movement. We're going to take a deep breath in, looking forward. End of your exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Breathing in, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold in. Come to stand with a wave of your in-breath. And breathing out, hands to your heart center. Next breath in, circle the arms over here, just keep flowing here, warming up, exhale and fold over your legs. Inhale halfway up, exhale, step your right foot back and come back into your low lunge, right knee to the floor, arranging your lunge thoughtfully here, reaching the arms up. On an exhale, cactus your arms there. Goalpost arms and then just start to roll the shoulders back in circles. Thinking about expanding through your chest as your inner elbows move back. Gently send the tailbone down. Think about sending your right knee forward as it grips the mat. So you create that engagement in your hips front and back. Next inhale, reach the arms up. And as you exhale, take your left arm across your chest, over to your right, and then take the right arm in front of your left and hold your left shoulder. And as you reach toward the right, start to twist through your torso a little in the same direction, trying to initiate that twist from your abdominal core. And on your inhale, Reach your arms, return to your low lunge. Exhale, fingertips to the floor, frame your left foot, breathe your chest forward, raise your right knee. And then when you're ready and steady, rise up, high lunge. Take a little bend in your right knee to create stability in your shape, a neutral pelvis. And then start to actively engage the front and back of your right hip. So you avoid pressing too deeply into the articular structures right at the top of the front of the hip. 
So from here we'll take a lateral stretch, take your left hand to your right wrist, lengthening up on your breath in. Exhale, side bend to your left. Inhale, come back to center and exhale, hands to the floor, make your way through your vinyasa or step quietly back, downward facing dog and we'll all meet up there. Breathe five, even breath, reset. Next breath in, gazing forward, end of your exhale, step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, fold and release. In up, inhale, come all the way up to stand and exhale, drop your hands to prayer at your heart. Left side now, breathing in, arms overhead, Urdhva Hastasan. Exhale and fold, Uttanasan. Inhale, Ardha. Exhale, left foot steps back into your low lunge. Arms reach up. On your out breath, cactus your arms. And this time we're going to roll the shoulders forward in circles, keeping that goalpost shape to your arms. And keeping contact with your abdominals, your lower body in that optimal lunge shape. Inhale, reach the arms toward the ceiling. Exhale, cross your right arm across your chest to your left. Take your left arm in front of your right, hold your right shoulder. And as you reach toward the left, start to revolve to your left. Breathe your way back to center, extend the arms up. Exhale, hands to the floor. Breathing in, raise your left knee, preparing for high lunge, feet staggered. And on an inhale, lifting up into crescent lunge, high lunge. Take that soft bend in your left knee, lifting the front of your hip points, firing up the left buttocks. And then take your right hand to your left wrist, side bend to your right now. Just checking in with your own lateral range here, finding a sustainable stretch. Keep breathing. Breathing in, back through centre. Exhale, hands to the floor. Either stepping back to your downward facing dog if you need to do less and take rest or make your way through a vinyasa. Back bend of your choice. And we'll pause. Downward facing dog. Keeping the pressure in your hands symmetrical on all four sides of your palm there. Let your head relax heavy. Try and breathe a slower, longer breath. Next breath in, way forward to a plank pose, bringing your shoulders over your wrists. And we'll move into a side plank on our left. If you'd like to modify here, settle your left knee to the floor and open your body to the long edge of your mat. Right arm reaches up. Keep that constant downward pressure into everything you've got in contact with the mat there so the undercarriage of your body feels more buoyant and you can rebound in a way that feels light through your body. Take another breath in, reach up. Exhale, send your right arm overhead. And for those of you with a knee down, see if you can lift your knee and hover it, pressing into your right foot. And if you're with me, two straight legs, go ahead, bend your right knee, step your right toes behind for a wild thing. Piking your hips up, chest up high, stabilize your shoulder. 
by moving that left shoulder blade away from your spine take one more breath exhale release return to your plank pose and then knees to the floor buttocks to your heels child's pose breathe three resting breath take a pit stop And when you're ready, gliding up into tabletop, stepping out into your plank pose, preparing for our right side, Vashistasana. Shore up your right hand, roll onto the outer edge of your right foot, or modify here, right knee to the floor. It's getting steady in your shape. It's going to help to align the back of your skull with your heel, so your head's not dropping forward. Actively swallow your belly in around your center of gravity. Reach your left arm toward the ceiling. Perhaps send the gaze up. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, left arm over here. Keep engaging your side waist to lift up. And either step your left toes behind you. Lift the hips into wild thing. Or practice hovering your right knee if you're modifying there. Take one more breath in expand and open exhale firm belly return to your plank pose and either take a vinyasa or raise your hips up and back downward facing dog and center your left foot here take your right leg up and back now down dog splits on your exhale, step your right foot up, warrior two. Gliding up with your in-breath. Settle and land on your out-breath. Stay for a few breaths. Finding that open quality through your chest. Through the reach of your arms. A long stride and an active engagement through the inner thighs. And then from here, just relax your arms down by your sides. You're going to make a fist with your right hand and take it to the back of the right side of your spine. So it's at the top of your right buttocks. Elbow points out wide. And as you feel yourself breathe out, hinge forward and take your right elbow, if you can, to the inside of your right knee. So if that's not possible without contorting, just simply rest your right forearm on your right thigh in an easy side angle. If you've managed to hook the elbow, see if you can start to draw the right shoulder head back. So you're seeking sensation through the front of the shoulder. And your left arm here can either reach up or overhead. We're not here for long. Just keep breathing. One more breath. On your exhale, return to your warrior two. Get steady. Left hand behind you now, either to the small of your back or wedge your fingers into the inside of your right hip crease in a half bind. On your inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, return to your side angle with the half bind. So forearm to your knee or right hand to the inside of your foot. So left shoulder opener now, encouraging your left collarbone to move back in space. Keep hugging your right buttocks in, long and strong through your left leg. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release, hands to the floor, stepping back to your high push-up. Chaturanga, low push-up. Back bend of your choice, take your time, breathe a full breath. Downward facing dog. Straight over to the left side now, center your right foot, left leg, rising on your inhale, down dog splits, exhale, stepping up, warrior two. Take a few breaths to arrive, find your feet. Smooth your breath and invite your arms to release down by your sides and we'll set up for our left side shoulder opener, 
opener <laughs> making a fist with your left hand and taking it the fist to the left side of your spine so option here is you can open your hand might be more accessible now let your torso make a shadow out over your left thigh and experiment with hooking your left elbow on the inside of your left knee so if you find your left buttocks drifts out and you're breathing hard just take your forearm to your left thigh create some space and ease in a regular side angle here right arm can reach up or overhead and extend on your inhale return to your warrior two stay for your exhale half bind now right hand reaches behind on your inhale reverse your warrior exhale come into your deeper side angle pause for a few breaths notice if you've got space to lunge a little deeper now that you're a little bit warmer and one more breath on your exhale release hands to the floor vinyasa stepping back to your high push-up exhale low push-up upward dog or cobra downward facing dog take a breather check in with how you're feeling now hopefully you can feel a little bit more range and space in your shoulders warm through your body one final standing series before our peak pose stay with me on your inhale right leg up and back down dog splits exhale step up to your hands for warrior one now seal your left heel so your inner ankle doesn't sickle then just reach up nice steady gaze take a deep breath in exhale hands behind your back interweave your fingers staying upright breathing in exhale and forward fold halfway over your right thigh draw your fists back in space hollow your belly away from your thigh and then reach the crown of your head forward on your inhale rise up straighten your right leg as you go preparing for triangle pose on your exhale arms out wide take the next few breaths to reach out over your right leg and settle your right hand to your shin or the floor left arm to the sky keep pushing the floor down and away consistently with your feet so the front of your thighs are active And from here take a half bind left hand behind your back or lodge your fingers around toward your inner right hip crease encouraging your left shoulder to open and transition into half moon from here pour your weight into your right heel place your right fingertips down float your left leg opening revolving to your left do your best to balance left leg strong and active toes flexed and either stay here or if it's available to you last few breaths bend your left knee reach back with your left hand and catch your foot in Ada Chandra Chapasana sugar cane pose same actions through the thighs mild back bend that we're working toward here return to your half moon and exhale carefully take your hands to the mat land in a runner's lunge to transition either taking a vinyasa or stepping back to downward facing dog if you need to do a little less take rest we'll meet you back there go ahead center your right foot left side now take your left leg up and back down dog splits exhale stepping up for warrior one so arrange your feet so you create comfort a little bit of stability there arms reach high stay for your out breath and 
Breathe in deeply. Exhale, hands behind your back, interlace the fingers. Breathing in. Exhale and fold halfway forward. Here for a few breaths. Just keeping that spacious awareness of your whole body. Finding optimal space through the front of your torso to breathe. Moving yourself away from any over effort in the shoulders. Inhale, rise all the way back up, straightening your left leg as you rise. And take the arms wide, preparing for triangle, trikonasan. Sending your left arm forward, reaching out, landing in your shape. And then gently soften your right side rib cage down so you create extension through your spine. And then you can take a half bind here if it's accessible, feeling your right shoulder travel back in space, right hand either to small of the back or inner left thigh. And then nice slow movement and transition into your half moon. Expanding your limbs in all directions, away from your midline, hold a steady gaze. Last few breaths here if you can, taking Chapasana, right hand to your right foot. So once you have a hold, resist with your foot so you're engaged, you're steady. And then return to your half moon and release down softly into your runner's lunge and then flow through a vinyasa or take rest we'll all meet up in child's pose So now we've progressively warmed all the major muscle groups in preparation for our peak pose, Kapinjalasana, Partridge pose. So our wrists, we've opened up the front body, strengthened the posterior chain of muscles, warmed, stabilized the shoulders. We'll put it all together now. There's a modified and full version here. So when you're ready, just gliding up onto all fours. If you're feeling strong, step out into your plank pose and just pause there. If you'd like to modify, take side plank on your left with your left knee to the floor, right arm reaching up. If you're in plank, make your way into your left side, Vashistasana. Strongly engage, lift your left hip. Right hand can just rest on your right hip there. Make contact with your left hand, shore up the knuckles of your fingers, grip with the fingertips and then protract your left shoulder blade away from the midline of your spine. Whichever version you're taking here, go ahead, raise your right leg and then bend your right knee, reach your right hand back for your right foot. If you found your shoulders were open, try catching the inside of your right foot. And then once you make contact, start to push the foot into your hand, resisting with your hands and the hips forward to counterbalance without letting go of your abdominal core. So you just find that mild back bend, curling your upper spine back, chest open, breathing in and release. Return to all fours, sit back on your heels, take a breather, I hope that went well. <laughs> And then we'll set up for the right side. So just trying to remember all the elements we've practiced along the way. Firm foundation in the hand, shoulder, side hip. And then activating the front and back of the thighs. So moving on the right side, Vashistasana here. Right hand's your foundation. Right knee to the floor if you'd like to modify. And if you are modifying, you're practicing all the same things, just taking the balance out of the equation here. So just try and align yourself into a straight line, integrating your anterior core, front core, strong active legs. Now raise your left leg and you might stay there 
or slowly bend your left knee and if it's accessible catch the inside of your left foot otherwise outside's fine this will give you a little bit more extension though an opening in the shoulder and it also helps to facilitate that upper back bend so just stay for a few breaths perhaps sending your gaze out sideways sideways and exit <laughs> well done from here we're going to step back into downward facing dog we'll transition just take a nice long stride stretching back through your heels and then looking forward make your way to the top of your mat four gorilla arms hands sliding under the soles of your feet and then with your knees soft rock your weight forward toward your wrist creases and then pull up with your hands so you can lengthen through the back of your wrists take a few even slow breath relax your head heavy and then release your hands from your feet now we'll make our way down onto our buttocks we'll sit up for a final twist and forward fold to release the spine settle the nervous system find yourself in the middle of your man and extend both legs out in front of you here go ahead bend your left knee take the foot to the floor and then cross your left foot over your right leg sitting tall on your sit bones left fingertips behind you for support on an inhale reach your right arm up exhale take your twist and you can hinge your elbow or just simply hug your knee take the next few breaths to revolve to your left and release extend both legs out straight and reset opposite side right knee bends right foot to the outside left leg right fingertips behind you left arm reaches up as you breathe in keep all that length exhale and twist five smooth breath here And when you're ready gently release final forward fold here Paschimottanasana so just ground into both your sit bones flex your toes extend the arms up toward the ceiling exhale forward fold and hands can land either side of your legs or hold your feet just breathe a calm breath so you there's no over effort do you stay tall through your low back relaxed in your upper body and your eyes can gently close and now for your final well-deserved rest shavasana laying down on your back and take up the space all around you feel free to prop or lay some extra clothes on in preparation for rest so you can relax without distraction and on a long breath out just offer the weight of your body into the support beneath you and rest your palms face up to the side of your body and let your feet grow heavy And creating that easy effortless feeling through your whole body 
Just closing your eyes, resting quietly here. And just feel and notice your breath slowing down, becoming a little shallower. And we're going to take your calm breath and breathe it through your body. Breathing in through your nose toward the crown of your head. Breathing out toward your throat. Take a breath in, imagine it coming in through the throat to the crown of your head. And drop your breath down to the center of your chest. Inhale your breath, center of the chest to the crown of your head. Exhale all the way down to your belly. And let your breath come in through the belly, rise up to the crown of your head. Exhale down toward your pelvis. Breathe in. And let the breath fall down your legs toward your feet. Imagine breathing in through your feet all the way up to the crown of your head. And then breathe out all the way down your body and then let go of any effort any gripping allow yourself to rest and unwind some cockatoos there in the background Hopefully a nice soundtrack to your Shavasana. And gently guiding your awareness back.
And breathing a full body breathe from your toes to the crown of your head, enlivening, awakening your body. And then bring some movement to your fingers, your toes. And when you're ready, bend the knees, feet to the floor. Rolling out to your right side. Blinking the eyes open. And slowly dragging yourself all the way back up to sit. And I hope you've enjoyed this peak pose class. Hopefully you're feeling open, spacious, warm in your body. Thanks so much for joining me. Namaste.